from 20,000 Fathoms is a classic science fiction monster movie released in 1953. Directed by Eugene Lorre, the film tells the story of a prehistoric dinosaur that is released from the Arctic ice after being frozen for millions of years. As the monster makes its way down the coast of North America, it creates destruction and chaos, and a team of scientists and military personnel are tasked with stopping the beast before it can cause any more damage. The film was a pioneering effort in the use of stop-motion animation, which was utilized to bring the giant fearsome monster to life. Ray Harryhausen, a master of the animation technique, was responsible responsible for creating the effects, and his work was a major factor in the film's success. The animation, combined with the film's tense score, helped to create a sense of dread and suspense, making the monster's attacks all the more thrilling. One of the most interesting elements of The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms is the film's commentary on the dangers of nuclear weapons. A common trope in the 1950s, the monster's release from the ice is a direct result of an atomic bomb test, and the film raises questions about the long-term effects of nuclear testing on the environment and the creatures that live within it. This theme was especially relevant in the 1950s, as fears about the dangers of nuclear weapons were at their height. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms has left a lasting legacy on the film industry, particularly the science fiction and monster movie genres. It's widely considered to be one of the first films in the genre of giant monster movies, and it influenced several films later down the line like Godzilla, Gamera, and many others. The film's use of stop-motion animation, created by master animator Ray Harryhausen, was groundbreaking for its time and helped to establish the technique as a staple of the science fiction and fantasy genre. The film's anti-nuclear message, which suggests that atomic bomb tests can have dangerous long-term effects on the environment and its creatures, was ahead of its time and continues to be relevant today. It also continues to be a beloved film for many people who enjoy its nostalgic appeal in the classic monster movie genre. Overall, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms is a classic example of the sci-fi monster movie, and it has had a lasting impact on pop culture. Its use of stop-motion animation was groundbreaking, and its themes of environmental destruction and the dangers of nuclear weapons continue to resonate with audiences today. I mean, without it, we would not have Godzilla. That was confirmed by Tomoyuki Tanaka, the producer of Godzilla, who was flying in a plane and looking out at the sea and thinking, what if a giant monster rose out of that? Of course, that thought was kind of spurred after seeing this film. Without it, we wouldn't have one of the most iconic monsters of all time. So if you're a fan of science fiction, monsters, or just classic cinema, this film is definitely worth checking out. But I want to know, what do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm Cole McCormick. You're watching Firewood Media. Stay tuned for more stop-motion horror movie reviews. Thank you so much for watching.